In the last lecture, we had a high level overview of what is data binding and there we learned that we can pass data from the component class to its view template. This is called as one-way data binding and we can achieve it in two ways. We can achieve it using string interpolation or we can achieve it using property binding. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about string interpolation. And before we do that, let's first go ahead and let's create a new component. For that, I will open the terminal and I want to create a component called product list. So to create a component using Angular CLI, we can use ng generate command. Here we want to generate a component and we want to call it product list. So inside this product list component, we are going to display all our products. Let's press enter and let's wait for this command to complete. So the command has been executed and if we go to the app folder now, there we should have one more folder called product list. So this product list is going to contain the product list component. Again, as usual, I will delete the spec.ts file from here. Let's go to product list component.ts. So here we have this product list component class decorated with add component decorator and there the selector is app product list. So let me go ahead and let me simply call it product list. All right, so this is our product list component. Now for this product list component, we also have a view template. So this product list component.html is its view template. Inside this, what I want to display is, I want to display a product name. So I will keep this paragraph element and there I will say name and let's say the product name is iPhone. Okay, then let's also display the price. Let's say price is $9.99. Then let's also display maybe color. Let's say color is matte black. And then let's also add one more paragraph and there let's display discounted price. And let's say it is $7.98. Okay, so with this, let's save the changes and let's grab the selector of this product list component. And let's go ahead and let's use it inside our app component. So here I'll open the app component.html file. And in there, let me go ahead and let me use that selector. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And there you will notice that those details are displayed. So it is displaying the name iPhone price $999, color matte black, discounted price $798. But here if you notice in this HTML, in the product list component.html, we are using the hard coded values for the product name, product price, product color, and discounted price. Right. Basically, here we are writing the static HTML. And we have learned that for writing the static HTML, we don't need a framework like Angular. We use a framework like Angular to generate dynamic contents. So, here what we will do is I'll open product list component.ts file and inside this product list component class, Let's go ahead and let's create some properties. So I will create a name property. It is going to be of type string. And to this, let's assign some value. Let's say maybe iPhone. Then let's also specify a price property. It is going to be of type number. And let's say price is triple nine. Then we also want to have color property. And again, it is going to be of type string. And let's say color is red. Okay. And now we want to use these properties in the product list component.html. Let me go ahead and let me close this app component.html here. Okay. So here we have our product list component class. And here we have the view template for that product list component. So in the product list component class, we have these three properties, name, price, and color. And we want to use the value of these properties in product list component HTML. So here, instead of writing iPhone directly, we want to read the value of this name property and we want to display its value. So here I will simply call it iPhone 13. Okay, so in the view template, we want to use the property of the component class. So here we want to pass data from the component class to view template, right? And for that, we can use string interpolation. So here, where we want to use the value of the name property in the view template, there what we can do is, there we can use a double set of curly braces like this. 
and inside that double set of curly braces we can specify the property name which we want to use in this case property name is going to be name so this expression here it will be replaced by the value stored in this name property okay so earlier it was showing iphone now it should show iphone 13 let's save the changes let's go back to the web page and now you see name of the product is iphone 13 so this is how we use string interpolation to pass data from component class in this case we are passing data from product list component class to its corresponding view template which is this product list component dot html in the view template all we have to do is we have to use a double set of curly braces and in there we can write any typescript expression here we are simply using a property name but we can write any typescript expression inside this double set of curly braces all right so in the same way instead of writing the hard-coded price here what i want is i want to use the price property so this property so again here let's go ahead and let's use a double set of curly braces like this and inside that let's use the property name which is price now some of you might say that i have added a space before the property name and a space after the property name is that mandatory no that is not mandatory because if you see here here i have not added any space okay so just for formatting we can add some space but these spaces are not required okay in the same way here we want to use the color property okay so if you save the changes now and if you go to the web page there the value of those properties should be rendered as you can see all right now instead of having these properties here like this let's go ahead and let's create an object here i'll call it product okay and inside this product we will have a name property for this product object let's specify a name for the product again i will say iphone 10 or iphone x let's specify price here maybe 789 and let's specify color and let's say color is black so now we don't have any name price and color property inside this product list component now we have a product object and in that product object we have name price and color property so how can we use this product object in our view template using the string interpolation syntax so as you can see since these properties are now not available inside this product list component class here we have some error and the error says name does not exist on type product list component in the same way for the price it will say price does not exist on type product list component right so here now we want to use this product property and from that product property we want to extract the name price and color and again we can access this product property in our view template using string interpolation so here instead of name we can say product dot name and the error is gone in the same way here we can say product dot price and here we can say product dot color so here we are trying to access the name property the price property and the color property of this product object and this product object is basically a property of this product list component class and this should also work so if i save the changes and if you go to the web page now we have the desired result as i mentioned inside this double set of curly braces we can use any typescript expression so here you see i'm using this dollar before this string interpolation syntax but what i can also do is inside these double set of curly braces i can specify a string here the string is going to contain this dollar and then i can use plus so here we are concatenating this string with this value so this value will be first converted to string and those two strings will be concatenated so if i save the changes if we go to the web page you see we still have dollar 789 but this time we have concatenated that dollar using a string then inside these double set of curly braces we can also do some calculation because as i mentioned we can write any typescript expression inside these double set of curly braces 
So here, let's go ahead and let's specify a discount for this product. So let's say maybe discount is 8.5%. So now what we want is based on this discount, we want to display the discounted price here. So here again, let's use a double set of curly braces, basically the string interpolation syntax. And in there, we are going to write some arithmetic expression. So here, what we want to do is we have this price on this product object. So we can say product dot price. Okay. And we want to multiply it with the discount. So we can say product dot discount and this discount, it is in percentage. So we also need to divide it by 100. So we can say divide by 100. Okay, and then it should give us the discounted price. So on this price, on this $1.789, there is a discount of 8.5%. So now this expression here, it should calculate that discounted price and it should display it. So let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. And here you see it is showing that discounted price so basically on this price there will be a discount of these many dollars so we need to subtract this from the original price let's go back and let's do that so i will wrap it within parenthesis like this okay and we will subtract it from the original price so for that we can say product which is the property name dot price minus whatever discount price we have calculated Let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. And now we have the discounted price. Okay. So in this way, inside these double set of curly braces, inside this string interpolation syntax, you can write any TypeScript expression. Even you can call a function inside this string interpolation syntax. Let's actually see that. So what I will do is I will cut this logic from here. And in our component class, let's go ahead and let's create a method. To create a method, we can simply provide a name for the method. Let's call it get discounted price. And in the body of this method, let's write our expression. Now here, in order to access this product property from within this method, here we need to use this keyword. So inside a method, whenever you want to access a property, you will have to use this keyword in order to access that property. Okay. So since this property is not a static property, we need to use this keyword in order to access it. So here also we need to use this keyword and here also let's say this dot product dot discount and whatever value this expression will return, we want to return that value from this method. So let's say return. Okay. And now we can go ahead and we can call this function in our view template. So let's go to the view template and inside this string interpolation syntax, let's go ahead and let's call that method. Okay. So when we are calling this method, it is going to return us the discounted price. So basically this expression, it is going to return us the discounted price and that will be displayed here in place of this expression. Let's see that. Let's save the changes. Let's go back and we still see the discounted price here. Inside this string interpolation syntax, we can also use TypeScript inbuilt methods and properties. For example, let's say here in the discounted price, we can see three decimal points. But instead of showing three decimal points, let's say we only want to show two decimal points. So for that, in TypeScript, we have a method called to fixed. So on this result, we can go ahead and we can use that to fixed method. And to this two fixed method, we need to pass the number of decimal points, which we want in the result. Here, I want only two decimal points. So I will pass two. And now if we save the changes and if we go back to the web page, now you see, we only have two decimal points after the decimal. We can also use ternary operator inside this string interpolation syntax. Let's understand that with an example. So here for this product, let's add one more property. Let's call it in stock and let's say in stock currently we have five iphones okay now what we want to do is if the products are in stock that means if the number of product in stock is greater than zero then we want to show a message only that number of product is left so let me actually show you that with example so again i'll add a paragraph element here and there 
let's use string interpolation syntax and here let's check if product which is the property name dot in stock if it is greater than zero here we are going to use ternary operator so if it is greater than zero after the question mark we will specify a string value we'll say only and then we'll specify the in stock value product dot in stock items left okay but if it is not greater than zero that means the product is not in stock in that case we want to say not in stock okay with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page so currently in stock is five if we go to the web page it should say only five items left but if i change it to zero and if we save the changes and if we go back there it will say not in stock okay so in this way we can also use ternary operator within this string interpolation syntax all right so in this lecture we learned how we can pass data from component to its view template using string interpolation syntax this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day